James Agers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying a really cool Salvatore Ferragamo tie. I do have a lot of Ferragamo ties. I really like them because they look like classic ties from a distance. And then when you get closer to them, you find out they're actually a novelty tie. Uh, there will be close-ups on my Instagram uh, if you want to see close-ups of it. Uh, because this camera doesn't do a real good job of the close-up. It's designed for like six feet away or whatever. But uh, this tie, it's a red Ferragamo tie. And the design are a bunch of little parrots on a perch. The parrot is kind of a yellow and white, and it's sitting on a blue, uh, like a blue perch or blue limb. And so we're pairing this today with a blue uh, canali shirt. The shirt has a little bit of uh, white striping to it, but it's not going to take away from the tie at all. It's going to come together real nice. But um, as far as the review goes, all, like all the Ferragamo ties we've reviewed in the past, it's not a real thick silk. It's pretty thin, but super soft. Uh, Ferragamo silk is one of the uh, most kind of a buttery feel is the way I put it. Um, uh, Stefano Ricci and Ketone ties are softer as far as like touch pushing in soft because they're a little thicker. But the Ferragamo thin silk just has a really smooth, I guess smooth is a better term probably than soft. It's a very smooth tie. If you're ever in a Neiman Marcus or a Saks Fifth Avenue and you have a chance to touch a Ferragamo tie, as long as your hands are clean, uh, I suggest you do that because it just has such a nice little feel to it. And they tie a really nice knot. So let's tie this up and see how it comes together. Um, this, uh, this Canali shirt has the collar stays built into the collar. You don't actually see them hanging out like you do on some other shirts, like my uh, Zinnia and Brooks Brothers and Isaias. But, um, so it's kind of cool. Uh, Eton does the same thing. E Eton and, um, and Canali shirts all have the collar stays built in. So uh, it's pretty cool not to have to fool with that. Like I've said before in one of my reviews of the Eton, we'll see how uh, they hold up in laundry. This is actually my first time wearing this shirt. It's a new Canali shirt, so looking forward to uh, putting all this, put this outfit together here in front of me and see how it comes together. Now, Ferragamo ties, I know my spot needs to be right in this range right here. It always is. So let's come in close and we'll tie this thing up. So we take the long part of the tie and we come out over top. We come underneath, up and through. And then we come around behind, up and over, and back through. This is what I call the checkpoint. This is where I'm going to tidy up and make sure I'm getting a nice tight triangle, which I am. And then I'm going to come out over the top, over front, holding, the, holding this little flap that we're creating down, come back and behind, up and through. And then we're going to push it down through this flap that we've just created. And now we're going to tighten up the knot. We're going to pull the corners of the tie down. We're going to hold them to the knot and pull on the long part. And that tightens the knot up. And then we'll hold the knot and pull the shorter part. And that's going to bring it up to up up top, okay? Now we check for the length. We want the tip of the tie, this part of the tie right here, to come somewhere between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. And it looks like we're doing just that. This is coming about halfway down, perfect. So let's pull the collar down. Let's see how this all comes together. We'll tidy up the tie. Now I had someone ask me a couple days ago on one of my videos, uh, what, what do we call this knot? This is a Windsor knot, really. It's, it's a Windsor. Um, a lot of people call it a double Windsor or a full Windsor, but it's really a Windsor or a full Windsor. Um, double Windsor it is a common nickname because a lot of people tie the half Windsor which is like the crooked version which I'm not a fan of. I just personally don't think it looks very nice. But um, this is uh, just the full version of that. Uh, this is a very traditional. Uh, you'll see it ties a perfect triangle. Look how symmetrical that comes together. So what I'm doing now is I'm tucking um, on the back of here there's a little uh, strap sewn on. Some of your ties, the tag itself is the strap, some of them have one sewn on. Ferragamo does that on most of their ties they sew it on. So we're tucking the back in there. But now I want you to just look at how nice this knot is. It's a thin silk, yet the knot comes together just absolutely perfect. Look how symmetrical that is. And this knot will stay absolutely all day. I don't have to keep adjusting it, which is unusual for a softer silk or a smoother silk, if you will. So the look's going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen, and I'm going to go over it with you here. Um, today it's a lot of Ferragamo, and uh, we'll see that in just a second. Let's put this jacket on and see how this all looks. So what we have right now is we have a, an Amerta Gildo Zinnia suit. It's a charcoal gray suit. We have a Canali uh, blue shirt with white stripes. We have a Ferragamo, a Salvatore Ferragamo red tie with little parrots in it. We have a Ferragamo belt. We're going with a black dress belt with a gray or a gunmetal uh, belt buckle. And then today we're wearing Ferragamo loafers that have the, let me take one of these off, they're easy to come on and off. 
It actually has the Gansini as the design for the shoe itself, and that matches up with the belt buckle real nice. That's why I'm wearing them. And these are super comfortable. Um, so I'm going to be on my feet a lot today, and so I prefer to wear more comfortable shoes. Like my Christian Louboutin uh, Oxfords are uh, very nice looking, but they're, they're a little stiff, so walking them for a long time can, can hurt. These loafers are crazy comfortable. So uh, love the look, come together really nice, and I am ready for work. Thank <music> you.